very bleak I'm watching, waiting as time escapes me You and I, me and you Together forever When I'm with him, I think of you And then I feel better Cause I believe There's a time and a place and a space for us to be And when he comes Would you give it all? Would you give it all? You and I, me and you Together forever When I'm with him, I'm thinking of you And then I feel better Thank you. Hello, 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 everyone. It is your favorite girl on the rocks, of course, and we are here in Staten Island for another episode of Raw, and I am so happy to introduce Super Future with me here on stage. You just got to see them perform Me and You, and today we are going to dig into their new EP that came out earlier this year, and we're going to dig deep into what they've been planning this year and what they have coming up so far. So before we get into the nitty gritty, you guys, let's go down the line and let everyone know what your name is and where you're from. Uh, I'm Justin. Uh, I'm from Staten Island and I play guitar. In the band. Awesome. I'm Izzy. I'm also from Staten Island and I sing and play piano sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sean, also from Staten Island and I play the bass. Nice. Andrew, still from Staten Island? Yes, I was like, oh, we're okay, we got it. I'm playing drums. <laughs> oh my goodness, so I am so happy to see you guys perform here. I just saw you guys over at the Craft House last oh. week. Mm -hmm. Super exciting. So tell me a little bit about this EP that you guys put out this year. Tell me the journey of creating the music and what it's like getting that feedback from your fans and your supporters now. Um, well, we started this band probably about like a year ago around now. So we spent like last winter sort of just coming up with these songs. We, um, we, we hang out all the time, like pretty much every day. So we just decided like, let's do something a little bit uh, productive for once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we go for like an early 2000s like emo sound, kind of similar to like Taking Back Sunday or Paramore and stuff like that. And yeah, we wrote all the songs last winter, and then we recorded them and put out Crisis over the summer. And we've just been trying to like play around and you know just like go all around like tri-state area to get like uh, any new viewers or anything Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. I mean, I think the title is perfect. <laughs> you know, after these crazy few years, this summer we were all actually able to go out and enjoy music mm -hmm. and enjoy the live bands and. Uh, just food, going to the bars, going to the movies again, going to the clubs. So tell me a little bit about your history with music for each of you guys. Were you guys in previous bands before this band? Uh, yeah, I've been in a couple of bands. Me and Andrew have been in like every band together, like awesome. five or six. And uh, it's like over the last 10 years playing like uh, all the venues that have been changing, like the Cup yeah. and Dock Street, and now it's like Mother Pugs and Flagship and stuff like that. So yeah, but I've been around for like 10 years playing with different awesome. people. And how about you? Um, I played piano since I was like eight years old, um, taking lessons, and I was in a cover band in high school nice. called Royal Pain. Uh, shout out if anyone knows Royal Pain. <laughs> um, and then yeah, I kind of like didn't do music for a lot for co in college. Um, me and Sean would sometimes make like, ba like bedroom rap, like we would just hang with like, beats, yeah. make beats, and then, um, yeah, and then we got together to make Super Future, and I was like, you know, I've sang in cover bands and stuff, so I thought I'd give it a try, but this is my real, like, band with, like, music that's, like, original. I love it. Yeah. And you're amazing. Thank so you. So, we you. love, love to hear it. And how about you? Yeah, and, uh, same story, basically, um, always, always been playing music. I was actually, um, an audio engineer for a while. I worked in some studios. Um, it's actually funny because me, Justin, and Andrew were like, like almost ten years ago. We were in a, this band, Impulse, <laughs> and we like really wanted a girl singer. 
but we okay. never found one. And then you, all right, so look at how that happened. Ten years later, here we are. Yeah. <laughs> and so, and you have been in bands with him as well? Yeah, pretty much. He kind of covered most of it. We met freshman year of high school. We've made several bands since. That's pretty much it. I've been playing drums since I was seven. And that's, uh, I mean, pretty much covered it all. I love it. Well, let's get <laughs> into the next song, shall we? This is Another Day, and this is your debut single that you yes. guys put out. Mm -hmm. So let's get into it. I love this song, so I'm Thank really you. excited for everybody to check it out. Let's get into it, you guys. just heard another day now when I was checking out all of your social media and listening to all of your music I was reading the words on the cover art for this song and then I'm listening to the song and I'm like wait there it is so please take me on that journey of how you guys kind of came to that conclusion and is it a receipt from yes. a, a restaurant? Yeah. Okay, I, all right, cool. I was like, I think that's what it is. But yeah, I used to work at a diner, and this was even, like, I didn't even know Super Future was going to be a thing. Like, okay. I was just bored, sad, you know, writing shit, and yeah. then I just always kept it. 
because I have like a book of like lyrics and things that I write and yeah. I just put it in there. And then Justin brought the melody. And so I was like, okay, like, and I looked through things and I was like, I could use this again. And then Absolutely. that's kind of how it came to be. Wow. And so is that how you guys kind of create your songs all together? One of you will create the body of it and then everybody puts their special twist into it and then you guys kind of have the last final product? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we, we kind of like, basically we lay out the map like you're saying with like the instruments and yeah. then me and Izzy will get together and kind of like go over what she wants to put in the song and then once that part's done we bring it to like I've said it's like a month-long process of just like <laughs> refining it over and yeah. over again until we get to the point where we want to play it. Absolutely, but that means a lot because that means that it's quality yes. versus quantity. Exactly. So that means a lot. So I saw on your Instagram the other day, you got, I'm like, I'm <laughs> on your shit. But, so I see that there's a video coming. Yes. So how was it shooting the music video? And are you guys finished shooting the music video? Do you still have more shots that you want to get? It is done. It's being edited, and it was pretty fun. Exciting. This is the first time I've ever shot a music video. I don't know about um, them, but it's the first time I've ever done it. And uh, we went with like uh, doing like a story a little bit. I don't want to ruin it, so uh, okay, stay yeah, tuned. no leaks, no leaks, everybody. <laughs> but, uh, we all played a character. It was pretty fun. I thought we, it, it fun. took us a couple months to like over time to film it, but we actually just finished up over like the last week. So hopefully it'll be out sooner than awesome. later. Awesome. And how was the experience for all of you? Was it a long day? Was it stressful? Was it fun? We did a lot of different different days. You, you want to speak to it? It was a lot of long days. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was a lot for me. <laughs> but I know, like, you know, even here, just production, there's so much that can happen behind the scenes. And once you put it out there, you're like, wow, I can't believe this is what we were doing all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I know that you guys are probably super excited to get it out there. It's mm -hmm. amazing how much we ended up cutting out, too. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's what we didn't realize at first. And I, like. I want to highlight... This person, well, this this thing, this <laughs> alien that we have here. You so can, you can, can say you person. please introduce this awesome buddy we have? This is Vito. <laughs> Hi. It's my son. <laughs> it's my son. <laughs> <laughs> he was gifted by extraterrestrial beings. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> listen, you need to call your family, or rather, they will call us when they get here, Whoop. and we can send you back over there. But in the meantime, <laughs> we are going to listen to Call Me When You Get Home. Super Future, Girl on Rocks, Raw. Let's get into it. Let's go. You said when I get back, baby, you'll be mine. I spend all of my time cruising by into bright blue skies. Things up in my car I just wanna be Where you are Here. Oh. 
my time When I get back things clear So make you mine When you get back Spend all my time To see things clear Alright, so I hope you guys are enjoying the music that you are hearing from Super Future and they are still here with me. So I kind of want to go down the line and go through some of your inspirations for your sound, you guys. So you guys are emo pop band, so I want to know where the emo side of comes from and also the pop inspiration for each of you guys. Or if some of you lean more on one side than the other, and we'll go from this side. Sure. I mean, my inspirations do start with uh, a lot of classic rock music influence okay. from my father. Uh, also been a major metal fan, but specifically for this band, what really inspires me, I want to say, is more of a, for the emo side, Paramore was me and, one of me and Justin's favorite bands. Absolutely. My especially, favorite. yeah, still, <laughs> still is. A um, little bit more on like uh, progressive bands too, like Chan, that drummer is just so technical. Absolutely. I love to, to just add that into that same emo style, but uh, those are like the two main points I use in this band, I want to say. Absolutely. How about you? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm leaning toward the uh, emo inspiration, too. I, uh, I really like Taking Deck Sunday. Um, I don't know, brand new. Okay, how about you, girl? Um, I mean, I think I'm emo. <laughs> 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 um, but I Where honestly feel like, I don't, I don't want to speak. You guys maybe I'm wrong. I feel like I bring the pop. I was going to say that, yeah. You bring the pop. I could, I could agree to that. I bring the pop. That's but the nice thing sprinkle. is, like, the lyrics are sad. You know, the lyrics, not all the lyrics are sad, but, like, you know, I, I feel like I, like, feel it. Like, I'm able, like, I guess I f everyone feels deeply. I feel yeah. deeply. I write it down. But I would say that, like, I'm really, like, I do like um, Paramore, all these bands. I used to, like, love My Chemical Romance growing up. But um, I definitely also, like, love Lady Gaga. Like, yeah. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of pop artists that I really love, but I, I feel like I'm the pop, I'm the pop leaner in this band. Absolutely. How about you? I'm the number one Paramore fan in the world. So <laughs> <laughs> He's like, but uh, no, I love like something that's always been an influence on just my songwriting is Event Sevenfold. Just the way that they write songs, like yeah. it always kind of like is in the back of my head. And then for like emo bands that inspired us, I think like Movements. They're like yeah. a newer band. They mm -hmm. really like inspire me all the time. And then. Escape the Fate, like their first album, um, Dying is Your Latest Fashion. I don't know why, it just like, like it imprinted on me when yeah. I was younger. <laughs> and now every every song I write, I'm <laughs> like, oh, it kind of sounds like that. I would love for it to be that. But yeah. And then Paramore is like number one influence always. Well, so. you guys have a great way of blending it all together and even live, right? Because listening to it from a headphone standpoint and then being at a bar, you had a few drinks and you're listening to mm -hmm. your favorite local band, you guys sound amazing. So what is rehearsal like? <laughs> <laughs> like I know sometimes people have to rehearse like in a super quiet dark eerie place or some people they like to rehearse in places just like this so what is your environment to rehearse it's sort of like this a little smaller though yeah. and we do like once a week but sometimes it's two hours and sometimes it could be a little longer depending on what we have to do but okay. it's it's you know we practice a lot definitely all right well the work here is not undone. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I mean, really, I'm on fire today. <laughs> you are, you are. We are here with Super Future. I'm Girl on the Rocks, and this is going to be our last song with them. But listen, they have a lot more music coming your way. So stick around. This is Undone by Super Future. <laughs> The time is seen us through If I'm being honest I know that we have so much fun Baby, please be honest And know that we have come undone Baby, 
please be honest And know that we have come undone Late at night, highway drive The stars are hidden by the lights Wondering if you take me home Will we be alright? Run it back, run it back Take it back, take it back Said I would make a change, but tell me how could I stay? Now you got me thinking of being honest. I miss you, and if I'm being honest, I know that time is seeing us through. If I'm being honest, I know that we had so much fun. Baby, please be honest And know that we have come undone Said I'd be honest with you Time has seen us through as the stars are hidden by the lights You know, I know, we had so much fun If you take me Home. Will we be alright? Late at night on a highway drive You know, I know we had so much fun If you take me home Will we be alright? Late at night on a highway drive Cause what do I know? What do I I'm just being honest When I say time has seen us through I'm just being honest When I say we had so much fun Baby, please be honest And know that we've become undone We had so much fun We've become undone Thank you, we are Super Future. We are back, it's Girl Rocks. And before we have Super Future leave us today, please let us know where we can hear more of your music and where you guys are gonna be playing next. You can listen to our EP Crisis on everything, Spotify, Apple Music, everything. And then you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Super Future NYC. Um, that's where all of our shows will be. But our next upcoming shows, we have a show actually tomorrow. Ooh, which is, yay. Um, October 28th at Mother Pugs. It's a Halloween show. So everybody come in costumes. You might win something. Mm -hmm. um, then we're in the Maker Park Battle of the Bands at Flagships on yes. uh, November 11th. We're playing Crave 43 in New Jersey on November 19th. And then back at Mother Pugs again for November 26th with Modern Day Machines, who's been on here before. I love Modern Day Machines. Yeah, it yeah, should be a great time. So yeah, those are our upcoming shows. And like I said, Super Future NYC. Which we're OK, booked and busy. I like this consistency, you guys. <laughs> I love, I love. And before we go, where do you guys see the future for Super Future? You know, past this year, where do you see the big grand scheme of all of this music? I'm sure it's going to be super. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be on 92.3. I want a Grammy. No, I'm kidding. Um, I don't know, honestly. I hope that it's. I hope it's just bigger and better things. Absolutely. We'd we'd love to like tour. We'd love to like play for bigger acts, open and just play like dream venues in New York, especially. Like I'd love to play Webster Hall. I think it would absolutely. be really fun. I would love to tour, mm -hmm. even if it's just the East Coast. Yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, you guys, make sure that you go out, stream their music, buy their music, follow them on social media, and go out to those live music performances because. It really is a great show. And we'll Thank see you, you next time <laughs> on Raw. <laughs>